Hello everybody, what is up? So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the Eucharist Survival Realm. Now if you guys don't know about the Eucharist Survival Realm, you might want to watch the video that I uploaded before this. So let's get started. This place that I, am, I was standing on is called the Spawn Area. That is basically the structure which my brothers built, which are Keef and Mufasa. That is a structure that they built so that everyone who spawns will be there. <laughs> what else should I say? So if you're wondering what this um, circle is, it actually goes around this little area right here. And that um, basically marks the community area. It's basically the area where um, we aren't supposed to build things that we... Uh, just want for ourselves. We are only allowed to build things in within this circle if it's going to be s useful for other people. Now, in this place, it's actually really cool, and it was built by Mufasa. Let's check it out. This is called the enchantment area, I think. So it's basically the enchanting room for the community, so that um, it's convenient for everyone to use. So let's go back riding the horse. Now here in this little area is actually where all of us, um, all of us stayed before we all got houses. It's just this like little place that I don't know who mined it, if it's Keef or Mufasa, but we used to have five beds here and all of us just stayed here. The things on the chests are, I believe, Mufasa's things for the meantime because he's still not done with this base. So, yeah. Now let's go up these stairs. These stairs lead to this, which is actually a broken house. And it is actually the old house of TCBM Gamer, which he replaced with another house. And I'll show that to you later. Now, going up here, we actually have a really beautiful looking house. It is actually Manji's old house. And um, she just uh, decided that she'll, she'll move. And she's still not done with her new house. And uh, that house will be there, I think, for a, a while. I don't know what she plans on doing with this, but I really don't... I really hope that she doesn't destroy it because it's just gorgeous. And um, again, like with TCBM Gamer, I will show you guys what her new house looks like. To, looks like later. I'm sorry, I can't speak well. So this used to be her bedroom, and it's actually really good looking. Um, here she has this door, which leads to a balcony. And in her balcony, you could practically see your swimming pool and this view. So, um, around this area is all, also belongs to Manji. She has her nether portal here. I believe that is hers. And she has these animals. But anyways, this is how her farm looks. And she still harvests there. And I also usually steal... I'm sorry, but she's aware of that, so I don't know if that's called stealing or whatever. But here, I don't know um, who built this, but it's basically a mob spawner. As you can see there, there's there are mobs that spawn there, like that drowned. And um, yeah, I'm really not sure who built that. Built that. I'm sorry. And now, this place is what TCBM Gamer likes to call the futuristic district, as you can see in that sign right there. Oh great, there's a skeleton. Um, anyway, I think we should take that out. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just like lagging. We're going to get to check this area, which is also really cool. It's um, a sugarcane farm, and it's really cool and um, you can watch his videos to understand how that happens, or you can also watch Keith's videos because Keith actually helped him with doing that. And yeah, that's that. Um, all the sugar canes lead to that chest over there. So now going into the better stuff, we're going to go to 
um, TCBM Gamer's house. But anyways, this is how his first floor looks like, which he, I think he calls this the meeting room. Um, am I right, TCBM Gamer, if you're watching this? So he has this like little water elevator here, which is really cool, and it just leads to all the floors. So this is his like storage room. And then he has this like stairs, which he keeps his animals there. He has wolves and then um, birds or parrots. And I don't know what. He okay, so this is his bedroom. And here he has this. Oh, the super smelter. He actually told us about this. And uh, that's actually really cool because it smelts things really quickly. I think he just got that. I think he got the idea to do that as well because of Keith. But I know he already knew about that before Keith even built it. Built it. So um, we'll be checking out Keith's version of that later. So actually, it doesn't have the water elevator to here. So. I guess he we have to take the manual stairs for now. I don't know if he's going he plans on building a water elevator. So now I don't know where we're going to go, but I think we should visit my base. Um yeah, that seems like a good plan. Because from my base there's like um three bases that two bases that are kind of near, which is Maji's new place and Mufasa's place. This is how my vase looks like. So here at the front there are like too, too many bamboos to count. And then I just have here some flowers. I have here a staircase also and then a cat. So let's just um, drop my horse in here. So in this place it's like the camping area and this is basically where I cook my food. And then here I have a flower garden i don't know what to call it but i just have cats here so that creepers don't really get near because if you guys didn't know creepers are afraid of cats for some reason so this staircase actually leads to my actual house and this is how it looks inside that's actually not the main door actually let's go here so that we can check out from the main door so this is how it looks like here you can't really see it mu much but yeah it's like little living room area and then some supplies I have three barrels there and I also have this little staircase to get up here and I just have banners there and then a few of my animals and I also have my animals down there which are some of my wolves and here is just like my little bedroom area and I just have the pillager banners um, from the pillagers when I killed them <laughs> and actually one was given to me by TCBM Gamer and this is the attic which is temporarily where I store my things so here I have this um, bridge in the back of my house and credits to Keith for building this bridge which is really cool actually and here I just have some more flowers because I like to decorate my place with flowers. So we're just going on with the theme, alright? So that it's consistent. And here is just a tower. Um, basically a watchtower I built. And credits to Keith again because he actually made this tower look better. Then here is the watchtower. The top of the watchtower where you actually watch. So this is just the view, and let's go from the other side to check out the view from there. Okay, I am almost fell, but anyways, this it is how it looks like. Um, so in this place, I actually just dug a hole in this like little cave thing, and I just put in some planks here. And I just put in some, a little staircase here, and I don't know what to do with the room that I did in there. But anyways, before we cross the bridge, I also have one last area in, he in here in my base. So here I just have these animals. Okay, so here actually, I ha I don't think I told you guys about this place, but this is actually my where I keep my horse and um, is also 
where I kept my first home, but I emptied it. I emptied it out. So this is how it looks like. I used to have like um, this little area, which I, which was my storage room, and I used to have a painting because I've actually been playing Minecraft for a very long time. I think I've played Minecraft half of my life, and until. Um, actually, before we made this realm, I was like so um, afraid to join Minecraft again because I, my house actually burnt down twice when I was like 8 years old or something, or maybe even younger. So I was traumatized. So anyway, this is how Mufasa's place looks so far. He has this like big tree, which is the entrance. This is not his house, okay? This is like the little runway to go to his house and then his... I think he'll put a tower in here and then I think he said his house will be like somewhere here or somewhere. I forgot what he told me once but yeah, I think it's something uh, like that. So, oh, there's this guy. Oh, I, I'm lagging. Anyways, just set him on fire. So here he has some chests in here, which he, where he keeps his materials to build his um, place. And um, he has this little campfire here, and he has so many trees that he planted because, um, yeah, that's going to take a lot of wood. A horse area here, which, where she keeps her ho horse, which, as you can see, it's upside down. <laughs> because if you know this, when you name a horse Dinner Bone, it'll be upside down just like this. And <laughs> as you can see, we have a little dirt situation right here. And that is because two creepers blew up one time. And um, yeah, this is basically Manji's place. So here she has the house that she will be living at. Um, this is the new house she's building, which is a very different style than her first house, which I just showed you earlier. And um, here she just has some flowers around here, and then she has this um, little watchtower, as she calls it. And this is also where she temporarily lives. So this is where she keeps her animals and that can that includes her cats and her parrots. Um, she has three beds here, I don't really know why. But she also has these like bamboos here which are quite a lot actually. And as you can notice I'm lagging a lot because you, you saw me dropped and then it's been like a few seconds until I got the damage. So this place is actually her mine. It's not just hers, we actually share this mine. But it's not yet done, so there's like scaffoldings everywhere and stuff. So let me just bring you guys here. Oop. Okay. So we actually found that dungeon over there, which is a spider, which has a spider spawner. So we can make an XP farm out of that. So we have reached level 11, I believe. Yep, we have reached level 11. Mm -hmm. I'll be showing you later something that Keith made and is really cool because it's like a big mine just like this one. And he gets like so much diamonds. He got from one time of mining, I think he got like almost two stacks of diamonds. So anyway, I'll just be going to Keith's place, which is the last place we're going to go to. And I'll see you there, guys. So guys, I actually forgot to mention this, which is actually, um, I think this is um, a game that <laughs> still hasn't started, and um, he made that, TCBM Gamer. Hi. So, um, actually now we're going to this place, which... Um, is the direction to Keith's place but we also have this which is a, so a shopping thing district I think and I believe TCBM Gamer made that and it ba it's basically a store he made and it sells some spruce uh, logs but right now it's out of stock as you can see and um, Keith also has this like little 
uh, bridge, which is also really cool. He calls himself a special, um, someone who specializes in bridges, but yeah, so I'll just um, go to Keith's place and meet you there. So guys, we are now approaching Keith's place. So um, we can just about see his crane that he built, which is actually really cool. So that's how it looks like. And you can check out his YouTube channel if you want to see how that um, was built. And um, I don't. I'll just keep this horse um, in his little like what do you call that little stable. But <laughs> he actually doesn't have a um, stable that's specialized. Oh, actually he does now. I actually didn't know about that. So he now just has his horses in here, and I'll just put my. So, um, as you can see, his place has like a lot of bridges around, but let's start from the um, uh, entrance of his place. So, like I, s I mentioned, there is a crane right here, and also, like I mentioned again, <laughs> in um, when we were at Manji's place, he had a mine. So this was the mine that I was talking about and it's also really deep. Where are these? Okay, I'm waiting for slimes. I need slime. I do not know this. I think this is, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. Do you see me, I'm gamer? Not allowed in the, to mine here. You destructive little man. <laughs> that is hilarious. Dude. <laughs> it's basically on every side. That's hilarious. <laughs> and the story is like, so, um, actually, TCBM gamer was mining in here, and, <laughs> um, oh, Keith was ranting t uh, to us about how much he hated what happened because of, of, um, uh, TCBM gamer's little mining trip because basically he destroyed Keith's mine because he went on all sorts of directions and ugly ways of mining. I'm sorry, TCBM gamer, if this is offensive, but that's basically what you did. <laughs> so this is actually how Keith's place looks like. Um, like I said, there are like um so many bridges around here. So let's go to this place and um check this out this is actually his brewing place yeah whatever you can see that so here he has brewing stands and chests which contains random stuff and also this which is a um sugar cane farm that's good so um this is his little um enchanting area and uh, he just built this um uh, place so that it's easier for him to enchant because he's actually very far away the um, enchanting area for the community that Mufasa built like I mentioned so um, yeah he made that and now let's go to the other platforms of his place anyways um, so this is how his place looks like um, so here he again has a bridge because like I said he uh, likes to call himself someone who specializes in bridges oh great okay so right now um, it's actually nighttime and uh, TCBM gamer took away the bed that I was trying to sleep in but I guess we won't even be able to go to sleep because none of the other players are trying to sleep so how about let's just let's just continue the tour um, so here is Keith's house while we're at it. Um, so this is how it looks like. And again, that's how it looks like upstairs. I said again because we were from there and I didn't even tell you guys about that. So he also has an anvil right here. And it's about to break, I think, I don't know. But he has these like illager um, banners as well. So this is um, Keith's farm. And um, yeah. He just has some weed here, and what is this? Potatoes. So he has some potatoes there, and let's just fill that in right there. And I also saw a blank space here, so let's just fill that in. And then here was the thing that I told you guys that 
um, TCBM Gamer got inspiration from, but I know he already knew about this thing, I think. But yeah, so this is a super duper super smelter. <laughs> I kind of remembered Stampy. Longhead, if you knew him, uh, you probably do. Um, so here he just has some instructions, and he actually, um, so he just lets us um, use this super smelter for three diamonds, and obviously no one's been using it. But he did tell me that he uh, intended to make this for his personal use, but he told us he also told me that um, we can use it if we'd like to. And uh, yeah. So I think I've shown all the places. Yeah, probably I did. I just so came back from uh, Keith's place and um, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And um, uh, see you guys next time. Bye!